The whole universe depends on everything fitting together just right. It's called Beasts of the Southern Wild, a small movie about big things. Have one piece bust, even the smallest piece, the entire universe will get busted. That is on many critics' short list for best movie of the year. Once there was a hush puppy, and she lived with her daddy in the bathtub. Its star is a small person with enormous talent. Six-year-old Quivenjanae Wallace, Come on. who plays Hush Puppy, a fiercely independent little girl who lives in the Louisiana bayou with her father. Yeah, you the man. Who the man? I'm the man. Yeah, you the man. Who the man? Yeah, you the man. Quivenjanae Wallace is nine now. Q U V E M Z H A N E apostrophe. Quavenshine? I did it? Go girl. And right here, sweetheart. And making the rounds in Hollywood and New York with grown up poise and a child's delight. Tell me about Hush Puppy, the character. Do you know anybody like her? No, ma'am. She doesn't wear any pants. Her hair is puffy. And puffy. She's Yes. Puffy. 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 It was a five-year-old Quivenjanae's fearlessness. She always was the most gigantic personality in the room. That caused first-time director Ben Zeitlin to pick her out from among 4,000 girls who tried out. I was like right here. Okay. They were sitting right back there and they asked me questions. Yeah, I want you to take your medicine. Why do you want During her audition in the public library of her hometown. Why do you care if I take medicine? Because I don't want you to die. Ben Zeitlin asked her to throw a stuffed animal at the producer she was running lines with. He asked me why I'd never do it and I told him that's not right. She said it's not right to throw up things at people you don't know. She was being defiant, but she was being defiant on the grounds of sweetness and on the grounds of right and wrong, and, and that's who Hush Puppy is. If the water gets real high, we're going to float to the roof, we're going to bust through the ceiling, and we're going to ride away, okay? Dwight Henry plays Hush Puppy's father, Wink. He knows he's about to die and is trying to teach his tiny daughter to survive on her own. Never take these off. I'm your daddy, and you're going to do what I tell you to do, because it's my job to keep you from dying, okay? The L.A. film critics named him Best Supporting Actor of the Year. But his first love is his bakery in New Orleans. Never yeah. expected the movie business would walk through your door. Never expected. This was something that just happened. And they used to come over and get breakfast and things in the morning, and we used to talk. They convinced him to try out, and they liked him. But he had to win Quivenjanae over first. I just thought back of some of the things that I do with my daughter. I pack all types of pastry. I walked up to her. I had this big old huge smile on my face. And I handed them to her and told her who I was. She looked in them boxes. <laughs> them big beautiful eyes opened up and she smiled. And I knew I had to party. <laughs> I knew I had. Early on, Ben Zeitlin knew he had a dream team. It's his first time acting, and so he's walking along, and I'm trying to explain something. Yeah. Like this. Like this. Like you're a little statue. <laughs> and she stepped in, pushed me to the side, and it's like, no, this is what they want you to do. She was actually directing me at five years old. I was like a diva on set. You were a diva? What's a diva? Ooh. <laughs> I got to worry about you all the damn time. You're killing me. You're killing me. And yet, it's a tough movie. Definitely not Father Knows Best. I hope you die. Your daddy's so mean. Was I mean? wouldn't say that. You wouldn't? He's nice, but he wants me to know how to live. He's like, I know I'm going down, so I need her to know this. I need her to know this. He needs you to be strong. Yeah. No crying here. No crying. In the film, there were a couple times when she was scared in the scene, and I would cut the scene because I was so convinced she was actually scared, and she'd start laughing at me, you know? 
In her little town of Houma, Louisiana, Quivenjene Wallace is known as Nazy, a fourth grader now with an older sister, two older brothers, strict parents, and a big appetite. What's the best part about living in Houma? That I get to have all the seafood. She loves seafood almost as much as she loves what? acting. Oh, acting. How much do you love it? Excuse me. <laughs> Her acting career is well on its way. She'll be in a new movie later this year with Brad Pitt. As for the upcoming Oscar nominations, the buzz is that you will at least get a nomination. What do you think? I'm excited, but I ain't gonna let it get in front of me. I won't, like, let it get in my way.